Hey YouTube, WT here from the Corn Alley, and in this episode, I'll talk with you about Exodus, specifically version 1.34.1. In this new version release, Exodus has lowered Bitcoin fees and the introduction of Civic. More about this coming up. Let's go. So recently, Exodus released their latest uh, software update to their popular desktop wallet. And in this update, they offered lower Bitcoin fees and the introduction of Civic. So Civic is the latest uh, asset to be added to the wallet. And uh, according to the release notes here, um, Exodus is now offering or introducing live network monitoring to ensure that all assets, including Bitcoin, are delivered with the lowest possible network fees. Now, you may have seen my other videos um, in regards to how to avoid the high fees for Bitcoin in Exodus. And I'll place a link here in this video about right here. And in that video, I showed you how to use your private keys to uh, use your Exodus funds um, on the blockchain.info uh, website to send your transaction because uh, earlier in the in the year uh, fees were um, rather high for sending uh, Bitcoin. So in this latest release they offer you the ability to um, you know they've offered that ability for lower fees, more affordable fees and um, because Exodus, pretty much what they had uh, mentioned in, in in other releases or in other um, in their support uh, support field or support base, they had mentioned that all of their transactions are sent at the highest possible fee. That way, your transaction doesn't get delayed, and it was sent out um, immediately. Now, this wasn't necessarily always the case. You know, I've seen people who have um, recently. I saw a YouTuber sent uh, funds to um, an ICO, a Regal ICO, and he was charged about $80 in Bitcoin mining fees, which is exorbitant. So I'm really happy for this release, and I'm going to show you guys today um, how it works. I'll just pretty much give you uh, a before and after. I still have my... Exodus 1.33.1. So I'm going to show you um, what the fee is currently to send, let's say, $100 in Bitcoin. And then I'll install the new version and I will compare the fees. So let's say I was to send $100 in Bitcoin. Right now on uh, Exodus version 1.33.1, it's showing me uh, $4.43. Okay, so not bad. It's definitely um, lower than what I've seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the new version and then we'll compare what it is to send that $100 in the new uh, version of Exodus. All right, guys, one moment. And we're back with a little movie magic. I've installed the new version of Exodus. And we're now launching our wallet with the new version for the first time. And we'll compare the fees again. We'll see how much it would uh, cost to send about $100 um, in Bitcoin. So let's see here. I think it is up and running. As you can see across the top, it is uh, Exodus 1.34.1. All right, so let's say a hundred dollars again. I'll change that to Bitcoin. All right, so to send a hundred dollars, it will now cost us about two hundred or two dollars and ninety-one cents. So definitely um, slightly cheaper than before. Uh, before it was like four dollars and change 
and now it's two dollars and ninety one cents so um, it definitely is uh, slightly a reduction in fees um, taking a look at the release notes here I wanted to point out uh, the highlights of the new version of uh, Exodus so as we mentioned before uh, Bitcoin fee optimizations are in place to reduce network fees now they did want to remind us that keep in mind if you're receiving mining or receiving daily payouts and Bitcoin to your Exodus wallet your fees will improve but still remain higher than normal because of the you know just the nature of receiving mining payouts to your wallet there are a lot of small transaction and then when you have to go ahead and send those transactions they do tend to be a little bit larger so the fees um, will reflect that as mentioned before civic is here so if you hold civic tokens you'll be able to now manage those tokens inside of your exodus wallet um, there's also improved litecoin segwit address detection um, so you can definitely read up on the release notes i'll place a link to those uh, notes in the description of this video so you guys can definitely refer to that uh, they've also re removed uh, doge uh, from the exodus wallet and uh, this was something that they were planning to do in september so in this version um, doge um, has been uh, removed from the wallet uh, also stated here that they have improved exchange minimum and maximum limits to catch an account for quick market changes um, so that's awesome you'll be able to uh, get you know in on the best possible rate and they've reduced traffic network consumption uh, right now exodus now supports these currencies so if you're living in one of those regions that support one of these types of currencies um, exodus might be the wallet for you it is very easy to use very straightforward i definitely enjoy um, the exodus wallet for everyday you know spending and then I still have my treasure for um, the majority of my assets that I'm currently holding. Now, um, there is a mention here that Exodus has further optimized advanced Ethereum transactions. Um, I don't see anything here specifically about that per se, um, but you can definitely research that. Now, guys, uh, I am still running uh, the contest. Um, we've had 61 entries. All you have to do is head over to the Coin Alley like the page follow if you would like to receive updates on what's going on um, with the coin alley I'll have that information available so we have 13 hours left in this contest so to enter the contest by all means head over to our Facebook page and you can definitely enter the contest you can access the contest by on the left hand side there's a section that says competition and you can go ahead and enter in that contest there and I'll have a drawing uh, tomorrow. So recap, I am giving away $100 um, to 10 winners. So each winner will have about $10 in Bitcoin. So uh, definitely go ahead and take advantage of that if you are interested in that giveaway. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, episode of The Coin Alley. I hope you enjoy the information I just brought forward to you. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button definitely appreciate the support uh, thank you so much for all my followers if you are not following me currently or if you're not subscribing rather uh, I would appreciate you subscribing if you do subscribe go ahead and flick the notification bell that way you do receive notifications whenever there is a new video alright guys until our next video take care of yourself and of course each other